Well, hell has temporarily shut down. Behind me here is my driveway in the neighbor's house. And uh, Thuggy One called me yesterday out of the blue, man. It was great talking to him. And he asked about my good fellows want to be a uh, neighbor. If you've seen some of my other vlogs, you know, like right next door to hell and stuff, you've heard some wild rumors about this crazy fucker. And, uh, he wanted to know a little bit more about it, you know. I've, I've never know really what people are interested in, so you know, I figured I'll make this and tell y'all the story, like I told him about uh, what happened about a week or so ago. I bought a new van, and then I had uh, my green machine, my Lumina, to get rid of. Really old car, and I was selling it more or less for junk. And I had this guy come over who was going to, you know, buy it. You know, he was going to buy it by weight. And it's going to come to about ten dollars fifty cents per pound for whatever the it weighed. And uh, so the guy pulls up in a uh, rollback. He's got a van on it, so I'm thinking he's just here to see it. And we, he parks in my driveway here, turns around my yard, and he's facing the other way. Crazy guy over here comes running out about ten minutes after that while I'm sitting in the rollback with the guy talking, and he's going straight to my door and it looked like he's going to go in. And I jumped out, and I was like, oh, man, I'm sitting there thinking this guy's going to cost me a sale. So I jumped out, yelled at him, told him he's with me. And he was like, oh, I was wondering who the hell that was. So I get out of the car, and I looked at the guy, and I'm like, he's crazy. Just just ignore him for me. Let me take care of him. So we have a little tit for tat while he's standing in my yard. And uh, the guy gets out of the car. Now, the guy who was buying this, buying my car, was old school. Hopefully that wind ain't not hurting anything. He's old school, man. He's probably in his late 50s, early 60s and stuff. And you can tell there's a time where, you know, you didn't take any lift. So he gets out of the car. And he's like, he's like, what's the problem here? The good fellow guy sits here and he's like, well, this is my property. I want to know who was on it. And he points to my driveway. He points to my yard. And I'm standing there like, holy shit. And he's like, no, this is his yard, his property. That's his driveway. And that's where I'm parked. You got a problem? And he takes a couple steps to him, and he almost nose to nose, and I'm grinning ear to ear, like he's going to get his ass beat. And he turns around, and the guy just kind of looks at me, and I just shake my head no. And he backs off, and I, said, and I told him, I said, Jim, you need to go. We're talking business. You need to get off my, out of my yard, is what I told the guy. You know, I don't know if it was exactly those words, but I got my point across, and I just couldn't believe it. So the guy's still going off like, I know that guy. And I said, yeah, he's been kicked out of half the places around here. And I've had to deal with him. And that's the first time I've seen him in months and all this stuff. And it wasn't going to be good. So uh, while we're sitting there talking, the guy gets in his car. And his car's parked around the front of his house where I don't have to see him when he pulls out to the road here. And he pulls all the way back to make sure we see him. And he gets out of there and he runs with his tail tucked between his legs. I haven't seen him since. So it's been kind of peaceful here and stuff. But a couple weeks before that, uh, had some snow out here, and I was snowed in, got my car stuck, and the neighbor down here uh, came up here, and I turned around, she was helping me shovel snow, and I was like, you don't need to do this. She's, she's an older lady, and she was like, no, no, and I'm real suspicious, man. This is the same lady that asked me why I don't keep my blinds open, it's because she swore up and down, nobody would look in, even though she sits at the fence and finds excuses to look up here. And so about 20 minutes went by, no, nothing was started. I'm like, well, man, she's just helping. And then she finally said it. She's like, well, if it gets back to you, all the stories about wild women and partying over here, it's not coming from me. She's like, it's coming from right over there. It's him. And that was her whole point. She was scared of how she was going to come off to me if word got back to me. I'm sitting here thinking you're about, you know, 20 years too late to be starting those rumors. So, yeah, that's it. That's the... Uh, Howler vlog and the new chapter in the uh, crazy neighbor who thinks he's in Goodfellas. Alright guys, later.